Hello, I know I haven't uh, reported a lot today. Um, just need to take a little bit of a break from politics, um, but we're going to have some, uh, hopefully some really good news tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. But anyhow, how I spent my day today was doing some prepping stuff. And I realized that I hadn't made a video this week about prepping. And so I wanted to share with you a little bit about what I was doing today. So all of this, all of this was made today. Well, between last night and today, because it takes time. So this is peppers. Both of those are peppers. That is equivalent to about four uh, green bell peppers. And this is green onion. And that is about two of those bundles that you can get at the grocery store. And these are red, orange, and yellow peppers. I just figured I'd mix those all together. And I had two of each. So that's a total of six big bell peppers, the, the red, orange, and yellow. And here's some strawberry and bananas. I like that flavor together, so I figured I might as well put them in there together. I've also, um, in the past, I've mixed my bananas and apples too, but this is just the way I happen to... Um, put them on the tray and so then it filled up the whole thing there and I think that worked out pretty good. Uh, I think that was four bananas and that was two pounds worth of strawberries and it reduces down to that. And then here are some apples. I like the Fuji apples. The Fuji apples are really good. Um, I didn't really like the granny apples, like the green ones. They're just a little too tart. Um, I try not to add anything to them other than a little bit of lemon juice or citric acid to keep the um, keep from browning. And then this this is a uh, white onion, and I think I think that was four onions worth there. Right now I am working on some um, red onions. That whole thing the whole thing is red onions, and I think that was I had four of those too. And that's across five trays, and they're all about that that uh, deep or more. And then in this one, I've got I've got one more tray of apples to go, and I've got I wanted to try something new, so I got more. Um, oh, there is some more apples, and I uh, but the rest of it is cantaloupe. So I thought I would give that a try and see how cantaloupe turned out. I did try some oranges earlier today, but I don't think I did it right. So, um, I don't know. I don't think I'll do oranges again. Uh, I like them, you know, nice and juicy, so I don't know about spending all that time dehydrating them. You know, anyhow. If I can get them fresh, I'll just have them fresh. But I wanted to show you also the um, little doohickey that I use to cut everything up with. It's really nice. I got this as a birthday present. A Christmas present for my mom. I'm not sure which. My birthday is right around Christmas, so one or the other. Anyhow, I didn't use it at all until um, until I started dehydrating. Um, so this is a um, the one I use for the onions um, and the peppers because that cuts them up into little little chunks. And then uh, this is the one that I use for bananas and apples and I just have it so that it will fit in between these two here just to try and keep the the pieces as, as large as possible and then this doohickey is supposed to clean that out and then I put a little bit of the lemon juice in there uh, along with some water um, for things like the bananas and the apples um, I did that and it's supposed to keep it from browning uh, but then I found this and that does pretty much the same thing and I think it's um, a bit of a cheaper alternative because that's pretty heavy and you just put in like a teaspoon of it with a quarter water and it does the same thing as the lemon juice does so so anyhow I am uh, again just starting this prepping journey um, oh and I do have some here uh, so I'm gonna do pears and we just, I got some peaches and I got some more bananas so but again, um, just starting the prepping journey, and um, I, I'm not really going to show necessarily all the how-tos because there are some really great prepping channels out there. Um, I see myself more, I guess, just kind of being a cheerleader to say, hey, you can do it, 
and because um, I'm brand new at it and um, sometimes some of those uh, prepping channels are a bit intimidating because they've been doing it for so long and it just seems kind of too hard. So I'm hoping that by my example, you can see, hey, I'm brand new at it. I just got these um, jeans here. I got both of them off of like Facebook Marketplace um, for like, uh, actually no, one was a, an estate sale find. This was an estate sale find I got for $5. And then this was um, a Facebook Marketplace for for 30. So I don't have to spend a lot of money to get started on it. And um, I don't know about you, but I've been hearing some reports that, uh, you know, supply chain issues. And I've heard that there are container vessels, um, like 88 of them outside of Los Angeles uh, port. And it's like, well, why are they backed up so much? And I've heard that it's strikes. I've heard that is, you know, truckers um, not being available, uh, partially because of perhaps of striking. Uh, or working, uh, slowing down purposely, but also I've heard it's because trucks are um, broken. They're broken down and parts are hard to get, and those parts come from China. I think I reported on that earlier today. So it kind of disrupts the whole supply chain, and our supply chain has always been, um, in the modern era, has always been a um, just-in-time sort of situation. So when something, some wrench gets thrown in there, then everything gets out of whack. Um, take a look at the lumber. What happened to lumber this past summer? It went from a piece of plywood being 20 to $30 to going all the way up to 110. Uh, simple two by fours went from being 350, you know, 380, um, a, a, a two by four to being you know, $9 for a simple two by four. Um, and now they've come back down, you know, things finally kind of settled out, but it was because the lumber industry was kind of considered non-essential. Um, a lot of people didn't go to work, um, but turns out it was, you know, pretty essential. Things still have to happen. And I think that's kind of happening with a lot of the, uh, our other supply chain things here. And it might be, might be starting to affect our, our grocery stores. So, uh, let me know in the comments if, you've seen any issues in your local grocery stores or Walmarts or um, department stores? Are things are things getting kind of low in stock? Um, I know I, I heard a, uh, I saw an article at, in Fox that uh, Costco was limiting purchases of toilet paper again. Well, thankfully I've been keeping up with our supply of toilet paper and paper towels. You know, those things that you can't readily make yourself and don't really have a good alternative for you should probably make sure you have um, so anyhow um, food of course is really important so um, take some time to try and stock up on some things you know don't, don't do anything that is going to put you in the poorhouse and make it so you can't afford your mortgage but um, you know stocking up a little bit here and there because you just never know when things might not be there when you go to buy them so um, anyhow, let me know what you think in the comments down below, um, and I would appreciate it. And if you have uh, photos, um, I have an email in my About Me. Uh, you're welcome to send me photos. I would love to be able to share them um, because I only go to a couple different stores around here, and um, I'll share some of my photos the next time I go in, and uh, I'll let you know. So anyhow, God bless. Uh, keep praying. God is in control, and um, keep the faith. I'll talk to you later. Bye.